Thou art worthy, Lord. Thou art worthy, O Lord. Worthy, O Lord, to receive glory, honor, and power, and power. For Thou hast created all things, and for Thy pleasure they are, and we are created. Thou art worthy, Lord. Thou art worthy, O Lord. Worthy, O Lord, to receive glory, honor, and power. For Thou hast created all things, and for Thy pleasure they are and uh, we are created. Father Lord in heaven, we thank you for this moment. We thank you for this day, the last Sunday of the month of July 2022. Father, we thank you for bringing us together again. We thank you for your mercy to keep us alive. We thank you, O Lord in heaven, for many have fallen, but you still kept us alive. Father, we give you all that glory. We give you all the honors. Father, to the viewers, and Father, to those that are around in this ministration this morning, Father, on behalf of them, I pray, O Lord in heaven, that you continue to uphold us, uphold us in your power and in your glory. May your love envelop us. May your love carry us. May your love carry your children. May your love show forth any day, any moment the enemy rises up against us. May you alone be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, there is none to be compared with you. You are the Alpha, you are the Omega. You are the beginning and you are the ending. You are the Rose of Sharon. This year, 2022, you have brought us far. We are stepping into the month of August with your power and your glory, with the mightiness of your name, with the glorious entry that is accompanied, that is associated with the name of Jehovah. And when we enter the month of August, Lord, we shall have, we shall have peace. We shall have victory over our enemies, over our circumstances. We shall have blessings from above. No man shall be a hindrance unto us. No power shall hinder us or hinder your children this day. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And Father, we cover this ministration with the blood of Jesus. We cover the viewers, the viewers with the blood of Jesus Christ. And Father, as we kick off the last part of the series, the prize of love, my Father, may your love follow us. May your love see us through in life. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Brethren, I welcome you to the last Sunday of the month of July 2022. I welcome you with the love of the Lord. And today, we are concluding the series of the prize of love. I pray that all that you have heard, all that you have learned, you will use it, you will work with it, and the Lord will be with you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Today, I want to advise us to imitate God, for God is love. Imitate God, for God is love. No matter what man does to you, remember that you have done worse to other people. You have done worse to God. And God still loved us, even in our sins, even in our shortcomings. Let us imitate God in this fashion. Let us be forgivers of those who have offended us. Let us love because God says we must love. Let us show love in His truth, in His entirety, in His purity, in His righteousness, in His fullness. Not because we want to gain anything out of it, 
But because God has admonished us to love, God has admonished us to, to show love wherever we enter, wherever we go. And so this morning, I want you to know that God wants us to show love at all times. Imitate Him. Even while we were still sinners, He loved us. Even when we still continue to be stiff naked against His word, He still loved us. He still calls unto us to come back to Him. And as we go back to Him, in no wise shall He cast us away from His presence, even with all our sins and our iniquities. And so let us imitate Him. Let us continue to show love to our brothers and our sisters. Let us continue to show love to mankind. Let us continue to advance the course of love in this our journey of life. Let your heart be filled with love. Let your mind be filled with love. Let your going out and your coming in be filled with love. Let everything that you do be filled with love. Let the love of God pervade your heart, pervade your mind, illuminate your being, so that out of you, out of your being, shall issue out abundance of love. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 1 and 2. It said, Be ye therefore followers of God as their children. And walk in love as Christ also had loved us and had given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling savour. Let your life issue out a sweet smelling savour. Be you followers of God, be you imitators of God. As dear children of God, as the people of God that are dear to his heart, he wants us to love and show love in his purity, in his finest form, in his beautiful form, as it were. Even in the day that God put love in our hearts, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever that believes in him will not perish. Just believing in him. There is no other price to pay but to believe in him. There is no other price to pay. But he paid the ultimate price for him to save us. For us and our generation to be saved once and for all. Even when the enemy has come in like a flood against us, he shows up. In our cases to deliver us from the from the from the floods of the enemy to deliver us from the wise of the wicked ones